Welcome to the Fantasy Feud Podcast, where we debate the hottest dynasty fantasy football topics every week. So sit back, pick a side, and let's talk some dynasty debates because it's in our DNA. And here is your Fantasy Feud host and moderator, Jimmy Ledbetter. Welcome back, DNA Strand Crew, to another episode of Fantasy Feud, Dynasty DNA Zone Debate Show. With me, as always, to my right, we got Ty. Ty Blake, you can find Ty on Twitter at Dynasty DNA Ty. And to my left, as always, we got Ryan Mail Muscles. You can find Muscles on Twitter at Dynasty DNA Mus M U S. Uh, kicking off uh, the second day of the wild card uh, setup here. We're recording this on a set on a Sunday morning, so we're gonna try to ch- chat a little bit about today's games and then tomorrow's games. But first, how are you guys doing today? Pretty good, man. How's it going? Good. Yeah, what's good. happening? Good. I'm zero and two on my picks there. I, uh, Miami didn't didn't get the job done, and I mean uh, you can't really uh, fault them. And Cleveland just uh, it's just crazy. CJ Stroud looked really good. Yeah, yeah. Those games were definitely. I mean, I I kind of figured the Chiefs would probably take care of the Dolphins just because of the weather situation. I kind of had a feeling, but boy, the Texans really put on a show. I didn't think really they had. I really didn't think they had much of a chance. But Me either. Boy, their defense showed up. And uh, C.J. Stroud, man, he is the real deal. He looked yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah, he did. They kind of they. It seems like when they're when they're playing at home, they play really good. Yeah. Uh, C.J. Stroud, I think he's averaging over three hundred yards a game at home, and uh, on the road, though, I think he struggles pretty good. So I'm hoping uh, they got to be hoping that they get another home game somehow. So I think uh, if they go on the road, it's going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, they, they they could be a, they could be a tough out. Oh, this absolutely. Year. I mean, they're they're not no pushovers. So. Yeah. No, oh, Tamika's got them boys playing. Absolutely. He does. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah, it's incredible. And uh, we we mentioned it or Ty mentioned it before the show. Nico Collins, uh, I think he's gonna be a top receiver in this league. I completely agree. He just he looks honestly he looks uncoverable right now. I mean, that's the Browns defense, and he just torched them. I mean, Stroud barely missed him on that bomb and i yeah, mean bomb that was a touchdown yeah i mean he burned Guaranteed. everybody and he just missed him by a hair boy oh boy yeah nico collins is a beast yeah yeah 100 yeah, percent. Uh, absolutely i've been talking about him all year and I, I mean he's built just like mike evans and i think that he uh he's faster than mike evans i just think he can be amazing absolutely yeah. absolutely but uh yeah i mean any surprises in those games or uh n- not really not really i didn't i mean patrick mahomes he, he looked good at first uh I, that surprised me a little bit but he still only threw that one touchdown to rasheed but uh i mean no i mean it looked yeah. it was um you know one of them cold ass weather games that just don't look great i'm sure you guys heard of the two is slander everyone oh, ripping two goodness. apart yeah. miami wants them out they're saying mcdaniel's the fraud <laughs> can't oh, believe boy. it yeah. yeah i mean yeah. this is a team that plays in the tropics man uh <laughs> it's not like they can just practice in shitty weather all the time to get ready for the for to get for a game like that uh that's something you got to kind of get used to oh absolutely playing in those elements is is, re- is tough on teams that are used to playing in that element uh you know you take teams out of southern florida and uh put them in put them in a a stadium like that with weather like that and expect them to go out there and play like they would on a normal day that's unrealistic yeah shout out to the fans i don't know how anybody can stand out in that i just yeah it's not me no it's not not, i i I just i can't i love the steelers but i there's no way i could do that no i did it one time in heinz field uh you know sub-zero degree temperatures uh like a, a six inches of slush in in the stands and my feet damn near froze off. So, yeah, yeah it's it, I wouldn't do no it again. Shirts on and what's yeah. that? There's people with no shirts on. Oh, yeah. I know. Unreal. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Yeah, people are not. Oh, there were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you oh, serious? there was. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you see, it showed them on live TV. Yeah. Oh yeah. my lord. Yeah, and then I mean, uh, like Muscle said, the guy got a beer and it froze in seconds. Yeah, yeah. And Andy, into, Andy Reid's mustache crazy. just froze. I mean. Damn. Yeah, uh, yeah. To, so to expect a team like Miami to go there and just play good ball, it's tough. It's it's tough to expect that. It yeah. really is. Hey, if there's a dip in Tua's value. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, on, yeah. I'm, I'm all, all I'm on the Tua train. Yeah, he finished first in yards, top five in every category. Uh, you can't you can't say the guy's not good. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, you like we talked about before the show. I mean, Brock Purdy's value, like people panic. Yep. You know? Absolutely. Dynasty people panic. So. Yes, they do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Any other, I mean, other than that, that's about all. Yeah. I was, them games were kind of went as I expected. I I wanted, I mean, I, I obviously, I picked Miami and I picked Cleveland. That was more, uh, you know, from the heart than it was from the brain. But I, uh, yep, CJ Straub plays well at home. Yep. And, uh, you know, Miami traveling up and in, up into, up into Kansas City and playing in those temperatures kind of expected that. So, yep. So today we got, uh, what's our first game? Who's, who's, who plays first today? Well, now, now that the Steelers got pushed. Yeah. Uh, the 430 game today. <laughs> yeah. It sucks. Yeah. Four uh, we got, Monday we got Packers Cowboys. That's right. Oh, yeah, that'll be a good one. Yeah. Who do you guys, who do you guys taking for that one? Uh, is Alexander playing? I have no, I clue think, I think he's ruled out. Yeah, I think so. That's a big loss. That's, he's going to cover that's, CD. That's a huge loss. Yeah. I, I'm going to say the Cowboys then. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Cowboys winning this one for sure. Yeah, Cowboys for me, especially if Alexander's all. I mean, he's going to cover CD. Plus, the Packers yeah. defense is already yeah. – it's not very I like good. Jordan Love. I think they're going to score some points. I got them losing like 23-31, something like that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the and, second game – what's that? No, I was going to say the second game – Rams-Lions. Uh, yeah, the Rams-Lions. Rams yeah. Ooh. I think you got good lines on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to Lions. A lot of people, I, I think, like the Rams in this. Well, a lot I, of people like the Rams. I, yeah, I've I seen mean, that. It's who who is going to slow down Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua? That's I mean, it. They're they're cornerback cords. I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go with the Rams. Just more experience in the playoffs. Yeah, just, I don't hate it. No, no, I don't yeah. either. I just I, I like uh, I like MCDC, and I think that he, them boys are going to have a good game today. I think the the running backs in St. Brown. Who's at home, though? Uh, I think Detroit, surely. Yeah. Is it Detroit? Yeah, Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah they yeah. are. Yeah, they're playing at home. Well, that's good because, yeah, golf don't play good on the road. No, no, that's it. And that's it, too. That's a big reason why I think that they're going to take care of business. Interesting part about that game, two quarterbacks return to their yeah. former teams. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 That, one's a, that one's a fun one. You know, sometimes though you do kind of sit back and be like, you look at these matchups, it's like <laughs> Yeah, Tyree you know, Tyree Kill go back to KC. Browns, Texans, Deshaun Watts coming back. I know he didn't play, but yeah. yeah. And yeah. uh what do we got? Yeah, Rams Lions, two former quarterback yeah, playing against the, each the other. Packers yeah. and Cowboys. There's really no storyline there. I don't, I don't think, think so. No. Me and my buddy were talking about that yesterday, and I was like, Yeah, some of them yeah, it makes you wonder. Yeah, it really does. I mean, I don't know. It could be completely far fetched, but <laughs> nah, yeah. it, it is. It is weird. It, it is. It is. It is. So then we got the four thirty Monday game. Uh, the Steelers at the Bills. I I really hope the Steelers put a bumping on them now. I, I, me too. That, that whole thing just kind of yeah. hurts me. Me too. Like, me too. I, I get the whole public safety and everything like that, and you know, not wanting to spread your resources thin. That's yeah. what they're blaming it on. But when your governor comes out and talks shit on the Steelers, yeah. Pittsburgh, and everything like that, and telling us to stay home, and <laughs> they, they they were hiring people off the street for twenty dollars an hour to help shovel. I yeah. mean, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. The whole thing don't make no sense to me. Uh, it's football. Yeah, you know, we're not a bunch of pussies. That's it. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I we're 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 used to playing in bad weather too. I mean, yeah, sure, they probably get more snow on us, no doubt. But I mean, we we get bad weather. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. they they played that. I think it was a playoff game at one year, Buffalo and in Indianapolis. That was Shady McCoy scored in overtime. Yeah. That was a freaking snowstorm. They played. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I think the Steelers know. are going to take care of business. I do. Do you really? I do. I think they were. Now I don't think they will. Now that Josh Allen be able to throw the ball a little more, that's yeah. what I was scared about. But like with the with the bad weather, it's like damn. Like I James know. Cook, Najee Harris, we've been running the ball really well lately. Yep, yep. yep. So I like that. But uh, now I I don't know. I agree. I hope the Steelers, but I could definitely see the Bills winning. Right, I could too. I could too. But I just I think that uh, I think that if we can keep our running game going and keep it close, then I think we'll. I mean, if we can keep it close down the stretch, I think we'll win because that's what we we can we can usually do that. Don't yeah. have Watt though; that's a big loss. Oh yeah, for sure, huge loss. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we need to. It just depends on what uh, Josh Allen shows up to. Yeah, that's it. Because uh, I mean, I've I've watched a lot of Bills game where Josh Allen just does not look good. That's it too. That's it. That's it. I mean, he is the QB one in fantasy, but he can look like hot garbage. At times. Oh, he can. Makes horrible decisions. That's his problem. <laughs> yeah, yep. makes yep. horrible choices. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then tomorrow's uh tomorrow night game. I like it a lot. The the Eagles, the Buccaneers. Uh crazy that the Buccaneers are playing at home. Yeah. Yeah. AJ Brown's out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you see he deleted all of his Eagles stuff? He's on uh if honestly, if I was Philly, I'd try to move on. I, I think they will. Yeah. Yeah. They 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 need to. He's a he's a really bad distraction. Yep. Like he he's yeah. a, he's another one. He's just a diva. And he just no one can contain him. He don't get the ball. He's balling on the sidelines, throwing shit. Now he's pulling this. Yep. I don't know. I mean, he's a hell of a player, but boy. Yeah, I I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just not about the whole diva throwing a fit on the sidelines things. Like I, I wasn't about it with Pickens, so I can't sit there and and defend AJ Brown for it either. But at least Pickens has kind of cleaned himself oh, up. I know has. it's only been like a game or two since then, but like yep, AJ no. Brown does this all the time. And and the Eagles are winning. Yeah, and they win. Yeah, yeah they well, just... actually they have it. I mean, I guess they lost <laughs> five of their last six or whatever their yeah, is. Yeah, so, they're I mean, in the Super Bowl last year. They, yep, yep. I mean, they're still a really good football team. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, I I mean, I've been moving on, but. I would too. I can't disagree. Maybe then I'd move on and try to get T. Higgins or something. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, yeah, what do we think the outcome of that game is? I don't know. Eagles look freaking horrible. I yeah. mean, they look bad. I watched them play the Giants. Oh, my Lord. I mean, they looked lost out there. The Giants were beating the shit out of them. I don't think Jalen Hurts is 100% either. I think the Eagles will win by a hair. I don't think they'll go any further, but yeah. I, I, I think they'll be good enough to beat Tampa. Tampa's defense really isn't very good. They're, I mean, Hurts going to be throwing the ball a lot. I think Tampa's got a good run defense, but boy. Yeah, yeah their pass defense no. is horrible. Yeah, they're horrible. Yeah. So I think uh, I think I'll go I think I'll go Philly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you invested in something there, Jim? I was. I was reading this thing about uh, A.J. Brown. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm going uh Tampa Bay though. I think Tampa Bay's gonna do it. I like Baker. Really? I do. Wow. I yep. mean that would cement Baker for a quarterback job there next year. I don't oh, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, I think it's his anyway. But yeah, I, mean, I do too. He would take them and win playoff game. I Man, mean. that Philly defense just hasn't looked the same though. They haven't. And I think that uh Baker's been playing really well down the stretch. Uh I think he could have another big game against them. Uh I love Rashad White. Love Mike Evans, Chris Godwin too. Whenever he's healthy, he seems to be playing a lot better now. I think it'll I think be an absolute shootout. Yeah, I do too. I think yeah. it's going to be a big game, but I do think that without AJ Brown, I mean, Quez Watkins is good. Don't get me wrong, right. but I just don't think. I mean, I just don't. Quez think. Watkins is. Yeah. He's going to be playing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't what? I. Don't. I wouldn't go that far. No, he's not good. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he's okay, but he's yeah. not. I yeah, mean, he's all right. I know what you're saying. They're, they're missing a shit. weapon, man. That uh, it's gonna hurt them a lot. I think. I think Tampa Bay will get it done. Madden yeah. must think he's pretty good. He's got like a hidden trait. Oh yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, he does. I know. He does. So, yeah. Yeah. He's fast. He's like the Sean. He he's like the Sean Jackson type guy. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna have to be the Devonta Smith show. I yeah. Mean, can't the show. I don't up. think Devonta Devonta Smith's the wide receiver one though either. No, I don't think he is either. I think he's yeah. one of the best wide receiver twos. But yeah. yeah, yeah, he's not an alpha by any means. No, no, he can't. He can't. I I just think I think it's gonna be a long game for Philly. I think like my said, it's gonna be a shootout. But I think they're gonna lose. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could definitely see it. They've been playing horrible. Like I said, the Giants smoked them, man. Giants. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Giants are bad. I mean, Tyrod Taylor come in, looked like, looked yeah. like Brett Favre. And then yeah. you got, and DeVito come in, looked like Peyton Manning against yeah. them. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. That's what I mean. That defense just looks like shit. And yeah. it's one of the, I mean, on paper, it's one of the best looking defenses out there. Yeah. I like uh, I just don't year. know if they're just their schemes. I mean, it, it has to be their defensive schemes because what else could it be? They got great players. They're just, somebody's not running that defense right. But that just shows you, though, like how much losing a coordinator means. To yeah. Oh, yeah. Team. Absolutely. Yeah, look at Shane Steichen leaving. Yeah. And who was their defensive coordinator? Yeah. yeah Gannon. Gannon. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. 
Yeah, I mean that's I, sometimes that's more of a loss than a player. I mean, yeah, really, it is. Oh, for sure. A hundred percent. Coaching means everything, man. It really does. Definitely. That's why the Steelers have been held back all these years. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but the winning seasons. Yeah. Please step yeah, down. Yeah, but Mike. don't worry. We're we still got this winning season record, baby. I love it. We've heard the news. Please step down, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. All right. Well, that's gonna wrap up what we were the the games present and past. Uh here for the playoffs. We're gonna look we'll look into the next ones here after this round. We'll see uh See how it all pans out. We're going to hop into our regular uh, fantasy feud topics here. Uh, we'll start with you on the first one, Ty. So if you were Bears GM Ryan Poles, what would you do right now if you had the first overall pick? Would you look to trade it uh, for as big of a haul as possible or and move on or move on and draft Caleb Williams? Well, first of all, I just heard something. I don't know how true it is, but I heard from Caleb Williams' camp that like he wants assurance that the Bears aren't going to take him because he does not want to play in Chicago. I heard that was debunked, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure how true well, either of them. We'll, are. we'll just we'll just say that he didn't say that. Right. That's how we'll answer this question. If I'm the Bears, I take him. I I take him. Uh, I know you can get a haul for, it, but Justin Fields ain't your guy. The the thing you want to do in the National Football League is you want to win Super Bowls. You're not going to win a Super Bowl with Justin Fields. So I know you can go get a haul. You can probably get two first round pet, whatever you can get for it. I'm I'm sure a absolute haul. But again, you're not going to win with Fields. Just burn it down. Take Caleb Williams, rebuild it, and with him at the helm. I mean, yeah. when have you ever? When has Chicago ever had a quarterback? Right. All their. I mean, Jay Cutler's probably their best ever. Yeah. Jay Cutler. Yeah. I mean they they got to they got to get the quarterback situation figured out. Yep. They're, they're going to have to because it's what holds them back every year. I mean, they got a decent team. They really do. They're winning a lot of games. They just they need the better quarterback play. And Fields ain't going to bring that kill. Williams, I'm sure it will. He's a heck of a prospect. So, Chicago, I'm telling you, it's going to haunt you if you don't take him. You got you to take Caleb Williams. You got to reset this thing and hopefully restore the great tradition of Chicago football because they are a storied franchise. Yeah. Right. You know what I'd do? What'd you do? I, I, I'm going to come out of left field here. Okay. I would soon trade Justin Fields. Yep. I would too. Okay. Yep. Get, a, get a second, maybe a late first. Okay. Okay. Closer to draft time. I would sit there and say, yep, we're drafting Caleb Williams. Mm -hmm. I'd make some team completely overpay. I, I, I would, I would trade the draft pick and trade Justin Fields. Go get a bridge quarterback or take a quarterback next year. You got a decent team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? I mean, you 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 just want to hold off on a quarterback. I'd hold off. Why? But, this is one of the best quarterback prospects we've seen in a yeah, long time. You ain't going to get much better than I this, Moss. I'm not sold on him. You're not sold on I'm him? I'm not sold on him. I think he's going to be all hype. Oh, look at Trevor Lawrence. He was the best quarterback prospect. Yeah, I know, but Trevor Lawrence still, I know, I mean, he, he still rounds, wins games. So, yeah, uh, I did that barely. I know, but I don't. Uh, I don't know, man. This I, guy, not, they're saying he's he's different. Yeah, I'm just not sold on him. He's pouting around on the sidelines, saying he wants part ownership, doing that. Like he just, I don't know. Oh, I'm sure they're going to do interviews with him, and if yeah. he acts like that, I I may steer away too. But yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I haven't dove deep into him or anything, right? But yeah, just from what I've like personally seen, I I would do that, and then. Maybe, you know, get a bunch of firsts. Like, their defense is really good. Yeah. You know, Everflues has really turned that defense around and maybe get some O-line help. You still got DJ Moore. Go get Marvin Harrison Jr. I, you know, <clears throat> go get a Jake Browning. Oh, my. Till 2025. Come on. You, st you still you can get, you know, a couple firsts for... Chicago's going to turn this ship around. They can't keep fucking around at the quarterback uh, spot. They, they got to go get somebody. Get yeah, quarterback. quarterback next year. Well, what if they win six or seven games and they're pick number 10? But what if they get somebody's first from the uh, number one overall yeah, pick? If. Yeah. If. Well, it worked for them this time. Oh. I'm just saying, I would build that lineup. I... <sighs> I, you're 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 gonna get Caleb Williams killed if he doesn't. Start well, I know, already. But, I know, but it is what it is. I mean, yeah, that's, it's I not. Joke. It is what it is. If you get him killed, you get him killed. Yeah, but you gotta take a quarterback. You, you gotta, shore up the O line. Uh, you know, go go get a Creed Humphreys. You know what I mean? 
Go get that guy from Penn State, from Penn State that you know that tackle. I think he's going back to college. Oh, is he? I really? think he is. Oh, yeah. okay. But I'm just saying. I mean, shore up that line. You know, you got a decent defense. Nobody's going anywhere. Right. You got the cap money. Go out and get some players. Try to build a team. Maybe go for next year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I I, I, I don't <laughs> I don't think Justin Fields is the answer either. I no. Either. He. Well, I think we all know that. So. But yeah, I do. I do both of them. I trade Justin Fields and not draft Caleb Williams. See, that's it's it's tough. I think, I, I think Jake Browning could take that team. Somewhere, okay, somewhere. so you're the GM. Someone offers you a trade. What what's the least you'd take for that number one overall pick? I know you're not a GM, but like, what what would you take? What's the like the least offer you'd take on the table? Oh, well, what what they get for the one one last time? They got the Carolina. They got DJ Moore. They're two, first. two first, right? Two first. Yeah, yeah. two first. Let, so, let, let, let me load that up real quick. Pretty sure it was. Oh, yes. Yeah. So if you can get, I mean, and they got that for Bryce Young. If you can get yeah. three first and a stud something. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm I can't be sure. mad at that either. No, exactly. You know? I can't because I, I'm with you. I, I like Caleb Williams. I think he's going to be good, but I just, he's he is going to be a diva. I can already tell. Yeah. Damn. He's gonna he's gonna be a problem. Yeah, and I'm I'm I don't know. I think you could you like know, there's the, guys like Trevor Lawrence that are super hyped that seem humble. Yeah, this guy's super hyped and seems full of himself. Yeah, already. It seems he like tell. he's full of himself. So that trade last year was obviously Panthers received the number one overall pick, and the Bears received DJ Moore, the number nine overall pick from last year. Right. Number sixty-one overall pick was, last that was a, year. That was a second, a first-round pick in twenty twenty-four, and a second in twenty twenty-five. So two seconds, <clears> two, first. two firsts, and DJ Moore. Yeah, yeah. So for this, you could easily get three firsts, <laughs> three and first, a stud. two seconds, and a stud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm all about it. If you could get a package like if, that, if you but could. I don't know if the team will offer it. I really don't. Oh, I do. For, for Caleb, Caleb Williams, Williams, oh, yeah. I know, but I think they know that the Bears are but in a vice, But though. that's why you trade Justin Fields first. Make them think that you're going to take them. Yeah. 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 I, I would trade Fields way before the draft. Make everybody think. Put up a smoke screen. Make everybody think you're taking Caleb Williams Somebody will overpay. A hundred percent. I know? just Jared Mayo in, in New England. Maybe New England really wants it bad. You know, yeah. they'll, they'll trade up. You know, Washington wants them, you know, to stay close to home. They'll trade up. If you can get like a Terry McLaurin and, and three first and two seconds. Yeah. From Washington. From Washington. Yeah, they're probably gonna be higher. Oh picks. hell, you could even get Sam Howe back. Right. You know? All right, hold on. Who did they take last year with that pick? I want to know that. Uh, that is true. Could get Sam Howe yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. You get Sam Howe in a return, and uh, I'd play him for a year, see how it goes. Oh yeah, and then then like I said, you have a decent. Try to get you know. Uh, God Washington. damn, must he swayed? He might have swayed both of us <laughs> here. I don't know. Yeah, but like they don't even really draft that good. Like they pick Darnell Wright. <laughs> I know, but that they they got a clean house, and I think they already did, didn't they? Didn't they fire their GM? Or no, they didn't. Did I they? Know. I don't think they fired anybody. No, no, they didn't. Yeah, you're right. I was thinking sure. Carolina. I was thinking Carolina. I was thinking yeah. the other end of that. But yeah, that's what that's what I would do personally. I would try to go get Sam Howell. Plus a couple first. Sam returns. Howe, Terry McLaurin, three first. <laughs> yeah, three first. <laughs> Build that lineup. You ain't going to get that. You ain't going to get Sam Howe, Terry McLaurin, three first. You ain't going to get all that. Oh, I don't know. Even if you can get Terry McLaurin, Sam Howe, two first and – in a second or a third. In a, a second and a third. Oh, I I'm just, all about it. I know. I and know. Then, and I'm then you're sure, going to get a second out of fields. I'm sure you can. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm I mean? Sh I'm sure you can get a haul, but Chicago's got it. They got it. They got to get it. I agree. I agree. I mean, enough's I, enough. I do too, but they don't have anybody other than DJ Moore, a receiver. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, you go get some of the free agency. They got some of the. I think they got some of the most cap in the. They in do. The they yeah, do. that's what I mean. So get Kay Williams and Bill. If you get all them draft picks and you have all them, all that cap. Oh man, they could be setting themselves up to be like one of the best teams in the league for a while. That's that's what I would do. It's out of left field. I know it's like me, and I, I do this shit all the time, and I bite myself in the ass. Yeah, but. yeah, and you are right. You do the same thing in fantasy football as you're doing right now. <laughs> let's trade the motherfucker. And let's get more picks. <laughs> Yeah. And how much do you win, Moss? Not very often. Exactly. But, but hey, it's fun. Take. 
I don't know. I I get what you're saying. It's not a horrible idea. No, I I, I I'm starting it, to lean it, that way because I think that could really set them up to be a dangerous team down the line. It's just I just they they need a quarterback. They they need a quarterback. They they've never yeah, had. I know. Actually, I know. Actually, the, but I mean, if you're if you're a Chicago fan, it's like yeah, fuck. I don't care if they suck for a few more years. If we can be a dynasty after that. Oh yeah. Hell hell. Even if you do trade with New England, I'd take. I'd take Mac Jones. I don't think Mac Jones is as terrible as New England made not yeah, to seem. Me either. Uh, I don't think Mac Jones is going to win you a Super Bowl, but like I either. said, just get one of them bridge tight guys. He and, had one of them years, though. He did. Know. He did. He could be good. He did. He's I don't a great know. coordinator and shit. Yep. Kind of interested to what everyone else would say about that. What me they too. Would, What they would do, but. I just think it's enough to know for Chicago. Yeah, I I don't want to be in that guy's shoes. I don't know who that guy is, the GM. I don't know his name, but me I me either. But that is, I mean, how because it, whatever decision. I'd like to think if I was a GM of Chicago and I stumbled across this video, that I'd be like, holy fuck! <laughs> yeah, my, my might might get that? fucking hired. Should yeah. I do that? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Here, next come a month right for the NFL like, draft. Ryan Mills been hired as new Bears GM. <laughs> I'm like wow, they'd be, be like wow, they'd be fucked. Yeah, maybe the new Pittsburgh Pirates of the fucking <laughs> or, or, or they'd be the best team in the league. You <laughs> yeah, never know. I'm telling you, that's what I do. Uh, that's no, that's what I'd do. Good question though. Maybe yeah, that was a good question. Yeah, that, that's that's what, what, I like these topics. That's too. one of the best uh, best questions going into the dynasty offseason. Like, what are they going to do? Yeah, exactly. That and uh, Travis Kelsey. What the hell is going to happen there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are the big big two questions, I yep. think. Yep. So we just talked about the number one pick. Now let's talk about the number two here. Uh so with the commanders now slotted in, we'll start with you on this one, Moss. With the commanders now slotted into that number two slot in the draft, do you feel that they draft Drake May? And if they do, how do you uh would you like that for players like Terry McLaren uh, next year, or do you feel that their weapons may have been better off of Sam Howe from a fantasy perspective? Uh, honestly, I don't know how you get much better. I was just Sam getting Howell. ready to say that. Yeah, I mean, he, he slung it all around. I mean, he was just the gunslinger. Mm -hmm. so I, I don't know how you get honestly much better. Yeah. So, I mean, I would like it for Drake May. I, I think uh, depending on who they hire, obviously, I mean, that's going to depend on, you know, who they bring in for head coach, but as far as the weapons and stuff, yeah, I'd like it for Drake May. I mean, he's coming into a decent situation. They got a decent run game. Obviously, you got three capable receivers. Right. You know, um, tight end, tight ends, I think, serviceable. You know, and Logan Thomas, I think he's a decent tight end. And the line's terrible, but you can fix that, I think, in free agency. Maybe. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would like it for Drake May. I don't think they're gonna take him. I think yeah. they'll I think they're still gonna lean Sam Howell. I do. I really do. I, I, I wouldn't mind it. I, I think they're gonna go Marvin Harrison Jr. if he's there. I think another uh, receiver though? Yeah, but Ter Terry's on his way out soon. And really, I mean, who else they got? I mean, Dotson's eh. Terry's young. He just needs He's, he just needs capable. It, is yeah. he under? Is he under contract? I don't even know. Uh, I don't know. But like, McLaren. Yeah, I think he did sign an extension. But like, but honestly though, Moss Curtis Samuel ain't no good. No, like Dotson ain't no good. Like McLaren's still good. I mean, I I think I think they'll go with the flashy pick pick Marvin Harrison Jr. He signed three year contract. He's a free agent in twenty twenty six. Okay, yeah, he just signed a three. -year I don't know. I would like to see that partnership between McLaurin and uh, and uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. Both Ohio, Ohio State boys. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I mean, I could definitely see them take May. I just I think how I mean I know they got the number two overall pick, but like I think how showed a, a really. A lot of progression this year, oh, other did. than having to do uh, you know, the last couple games where he did tire out. But uh, I don't know. I I, I I wouldn't take a quarterback. I wouldn't either. I, I really like Hal personally. Me too. I, I would. Uh, I mean, if you're listening, I, I'd probably go well, out and try to buy Hal right well, now. Because every, everybody and their mother, I think, thinks that, you know, <laughs> that he's in a sock that, or that he's done. Well, yeah, he's yeah. done if they, if you know, if they're gonna draft drake may but they might not i mean ty's yeah. right they, well, they might not 
honestly, and even if they do, who's to say that he ain't gonna beat out Drake May in camp? Yeah, too. Well, yeah. When what I'm kind of thinking is too is give Howe another year. If he sucks, you'll have another high end pick. Then take a quarterback, right. and yeah. then you got Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean, yeah, yeah he's got no excuses. Yeah, yeah. I'd give right. one more shot, and like I was just said, I mean, if he sucks, then there you yeah, go. I just think you ran out of gas this year. I do yeah. too. I mean, you can't you can't get sacked eleven times a game and throw it fifty times a game and expect no. to. He's on the run all the time. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I I love how I think he's one of the good good buys right now. Yeah, you I know? do too. Uh, but I I could definitely see them go May though. It's it's a tough league. I mean, people get passed on. You know, they don't have much much of a chance. Yeah, people yeah. don't have a lot of. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. Of yeah. How yeah. might never start another game? I don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, I'd like to see him start another game. The guy was throwing it a lot. Yeah. So we'll see. It, I, the draft's going to be interesting. This it really year. is. It yeah. is. Yeah, I'm excited for it. We'll get to our next uh, topic here. We'll start with you on this one, Ty. Which injured uh, Which injured quarterback in a you know, kind of disappointing seasons? Uh, 2023, Dynasty QB. Do you have more faith in to bounce back next year and have a high-end QB one type of year? Uh, Herbert or Burrow? Mm, uh, I'll have to go Burrow. It's just the uh, the targets he has. I mean, I know T. Higgins is probably out the door, but I'm sure they'll fill his shoes. I mean, that that's what Cincinnati is really doing with Burrow. They seem obviously they know he's the franchise, so they're going to give him all the tools he needs to be successful. Plus, hell, Burrow can throw to Trent and Irwin to make him look good. Yeah. Right. I mean, the guy is a stud. He's I mean, he's a winner. There's no doubt about that. And. uh I just I tr- I mean as much as it pains to say me I trust Cincinnati a lot more than I trust the Chargers. Yep. I and mean, the Chargers is just not a very good organization. They're very very lucky they fell and got Justin Herbert. Very lucky. Uh because other than that what do they got? I mean not not much. No. And there's coaching changes going on there. We don't know how, how that's going to impact her, but it can only improve him because he didn't look very good this year. But uh I, I'd have to go Burrow. I just trust the organization, and honestly, I I just I trust Burrow more. I think Burrow's a better quarterback, but uh, not by a long shot. But I do think he's better. Yeah, yeah, I, I've got to agree. Um, yeah, the, the points that you just made. I mean, I trust the organization a lot more. I mean, the Chargers. I don't know what they're doing drafting. You know, Quentin Johnson. Everybody knew what he kind of was coming out. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I fell for the trap. I thought that he was going to get opportunity. I didn't think he was. Uh, good by any means, but I just thought he would get opportunity. So I did draft him a couple places just because I, you know, foreseeing that, you know, Mike uh, Williams always gets hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Every year. Uh, Keenan Allen's aging. Yep. You know, so I was like, oh, well, you know, he should get the playing time and he did and he, he disappointed. So, I mean, um, you know, Keenan Allen's only getting older. Mike Williams is only getting older. Yeah. Uh, Josh Palmer, I think, is a serviceable guy. Yeah. But uh, other than that, nobody. Yeah, Eckler's going out the door. Eckler's out the door. I mean, that that offense is gonna might look, you know, abysmal. Their offensive line sucks. Yeah. Um. So I I, tr- I I agree. I trust Cincinnati. Cincinnati's got a decent. Joe Mixon's coming back. He looked good. Yeah, he did. Um. You know, Jamar Chase, obviously, and then. Tyler Boyd's still going to be there because I, I think his contracts. I'm sure they'll bring him back. Yeah, yeah Tyler Boyd should be anywhere. cheap, but he should know. be able to be there forever. He should be able to retire there if he yeah. wants. Yeah, and like you guys said, Trent Irwin or they bring somebody in. Yeah, I saw a couple mock drafts where uh, they get Brock Bowers. I would be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, I saw uh, two mocks and one went to San Diego or uh, the Chargers. Oh, so. I'd love that too. Yeah, both landing spots would be juicy. Oh. So they need to shore up the O line, though. They yeah. need to protect Burrow. They do. They do. I mean, he he gets hit way too much. And I think both teams are in cap hell, so I don't think any one of them are going to go out and splash get a free agent wide receiver. But right. Yeah, you're, uh, Tyler Boyd is, did just finish up his four-year contract. I, I he's thought he was coming up. Age. He's only 29. I mean, I bet you he gets re-signed there for cheap. Yeah, yeah, he'll take a team-friendly deal and stay. <laughs> yeah, he just got his, he got a decent contract that first time. I think it was, I mean, not huge, but I think it was like 40 some million over four yeah. years. And, I mean, so. they they go out and sign like an Allen Robinson, you know, yeah. and, and Joe Burrow can make him look good, you know. Right. Right, I agree. What do you think? Uh, 
would say you guys are both on her on the, Burrow. the Burrow train. Yeah. Now I'm I'm I, as far as 2024 goes, I think it, that Burrow has the better season too. Now, as far as a a dynasty outlook goes, injury history and stuff like that. Where do you where how how do those two fall for you on a complete out there aspect? I'd have to go Burrow. Still, uh, yeah. yeah. All the injuries don't yeah, scare you yeah, a little no, bit. No, no he, me either. Just because they are. I mean, it's it's just a hot hot garbage of a franchise. Yep. The Chargers, it seems. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah, and it's a shame. I, I, I said this a couple of years ago. I was like, they're really going to waste Justin Herbert like that. I feel like as a GM, that is the key to do is is draft a young quarterback and build a team around him. Because I think Herbert before he gets the contract, yeah, and, and he's already yeah. got the contract. So Herbert does have a hell of an arm. Oh, he I mean, does. He's, ac- he's, he does. He's, he's he's an accurate passer as well. Yep. Yeah, there's no doubt he's a hell of a player. No doubt. He I is. just it's just a shame he plays out in the shot for the no. Chargers. Yep. Two or Herbert. Herbert. Uh two or Herbert. I'm two Her- Herbert. I like two better. I, I I'm probably Herbert. Are you? Yeah, I'm I'm Herbert. It's close. Yeah. You think um, Herbert has a better career than Tua? Oh yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I oh, think man. uh that Tyree, I mean, we talked about this on the DNA show. Tyree Kill's future kind of scares us. He looks like he does look like a different quarterback without Tyree Kill. Oh, yeah. He does. Still, he's going to be good. Trust me. And uh, two has got the bigger injury history, all the shots to the head. I don't like that. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, he it, had a it, couple good seasons here. He I, I, I know, he but Jim, could you imagine Herbert in that Miami offense? Oh yeah, I know. I like Herbert. I do. I think I like Herbert better, but I just think that that franchise and like Muscle said, waste them away. Yeah, oh, yeah, they already did. He yeah, already signed, I, I, he already I, I, I think that he's a better quarterback than Tua, but I think Tua has a better career. But it's all yeah, said and done. yeah. I mean, we'll see when Tyreek walks. That's the only thing that scares me is if they're not able to replace Tyreek. Yeah. You know, J- Jalen Waddle's a, a hell of a hell of a receiver, but yeah, exactly. I like Jalen Waddle. I do too, but we'll they see. They get a guy like Nico Collins or something then after him. Yeah, they uh, and they they could they could. Yeah. Do, do you think Miami brings to a back? Oh I, yeah. I mean, that, he's he's an oh, ac- he's, he's an accurate ass. Yeah. Passer, when's his contract? Really, I think, I think uh, next year, and then then after next. Well, year. I don't know him and him and Burrow and uh, Herbert. Herbert all yeah, came in the same year, but they all got deals and and Tua didn't. So yeah. What's oh, Tua? maybe it. Well, Tua would have a would Tua have a fifth year? Did he get drafted he got, in the first? first yeah, round? yeah, he got picked in the first round. I think this is only his third year. Uh, maybe Tua. it's his fourth year. Might be, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Contract. I thought they were 2020 rookies. Maybe not. I think they were. Yeah, 2020 rookies. Yeah. So, so they should have one more year. So yeah, one, he's got two, he's three, got he's four, got four, five. Yeah, he's, so this is option. this is his fifth year option yep. this year. Yeah. Yeah. I do they pick it up? Oh yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just messing. I'm just messing. It'd be stupid if they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. No. So yeah, he'll he'll play this year, and then it'll be interesting to see. Right. I don't so. know. It's gonna hurt the. I just seen this, so it's gonna you hurt the watch Dolph. all the two haters, man. He'll come out this year. Oh, back and be quarterback, whatever, like he was this year. Yeah. It's gonna hurt the Dolphins' salary cap a little bit, though. His cap going from nine point six million to twenty three point one million. Yep. Damn. Yep. Yep, unrestricted free agent in 2025. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. It's a prove year, I think, for him. Honestly, yeah. I mean, oh, they're, they're, I, I, I think I <laughs> now proved it this year. <laughs> yeah. First in the league in yards, I, top five in touchdowns, know, top man. five in quarterback I, rating. I'm not really a Tua guy though. Like, I don't think he's a scrub. Don't get me wrong. I know, I just, but those numbers don't, don't lie. I just, I don't know. After Tyreek leaves, oof. I don't know. Yeah. You know who the Bears could get? Who? Yeah. Tua. Mr. Unlimited. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, was just, I was just thinking of dead cap and yeah. think about that Broncos situation. Mm-hmm. You love that. You no, love, you love Russell. That. I hate Russell, but yeah. <laughs> they can get Mr. Unlimited. Bears country. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Keep pounding. <laughs> Keep pounding. <laughs> or wait, is that the Panthers? I, I have no fan. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumbass. Keep pounding. Something like that. <laughs> that might be the Panthers saying. 
I don't even know what their what their uh, motto hashtag is. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, um, go back to it. I mean, yeah, it, I would see. I would say that they extend them, but we'll see. Yeah, bottom I, tier quarterback in the league, apparently. To you guys, I think he needs to win a playoff. No, game, I, I first. I love to. How I many has Herbert won? Well, I don't. Is ever <laughs> Herbert even ever been? Oh yeah, they were there one time. Yeah, they blew it. It. yeah, he blew it. Yeah, they blew but, it. But uh, I, hey, I drafted to a pretty high in that analyst league that yeah. we're in. I, I like to a personally. I just, I would rather have Burrow or not Burrow, uh, Herbert. Herbert. Oh, yeah. I, I just, I the way I look at it is, I know you. I'm just looking at it this way. Herbert on Miami. Oh yeah, they'd be dangerous. Yeah. Like, like very, very dangerous. Like Tua in them, dangerous. Herbert and them, very dangerous. I don't know. That's just the way I feel. Herbert, yeah. Herbert hasn't really done much in the playoffs. His team always sucks. Oh, yeah. They're horrible. Yeah. Their their GM just costs them everything. What is it? What was that stat? Four players in their defense has got like 40% of their salary cap? Yeah, something like, like that. That is freaking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, they need to shore that up. Cut them or something. I don't know. Because that defense is <laughs> terrible. Oh, they're horrible. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that GM. Hey, hey if anybody needs a GM. Yeah, that Chargers guy's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm available. Oh, you're I, available. <laughs> I solved all the Bears issues. <laughs> true. Right, yeah. Jim? It is true. Yeah. It is true. I, I'm. I, you, you sold me. <laughs> the day you fucking come to GM, I'm done watching football. <laughs> You up there, your little fucking suit press conference. I, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Not me. Take me with you. All right. I'll support you for life. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to build our team after the Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. We'll get to our next topic. We'll start with you on this one, Musk. Uh, which dynasty running back do you think has the better season next year, barring injuries, Tajay Spears or DeAndre Swift? Oh, wow. Oh, that's that's gonna be interesting because we don't know really where Swift's going. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna say Tajay. I, I think. Uh, <clears throat> well, I guess depending on what coach they bring in, I can't believe they fired Vrabel. Me stupid, stupid, that, stupid. dumb stupid, move. Yeah. Yeah, I honestly thought he was gonna go to New England, and then they brought in Jared Mayo. But it's okay. Coach T's gonna be leaving, and Vrabel will be a Pittsburgh Steeler. I oh, wouldn't so. that be great? Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. happy days. Oh, happy yeah, days. Shit. Uh, I might go out and sub zero to get a temperature with my shirt on. <laughs> that fucking happens. Just for Ravel. Yep. Just out of curiosity, where would uh, where's Trey McBride rank in your tight end rank? <laughs> oh, man. Right up at the top. Don't make me splooge. <laughs> um, but uh, I think, the, I mean, there's a lot of question marks there because it depends on what coach, obviously, they bring in, what, what route. I would say they're going to roll with Levis. Um, I think he's proved enough to. Yeah. He had one good game. Yeah. Um, you guys would probably rather have Levis than Tua, huh? I would. Yeah, I'm sure you <laughs> fucking would. Um, I think I think just off of what we know today, I think I'm going to have to go to Aja. I think he looked good. I think uh, Tennessee's going to have to run that ball. Um, as of right now, if I were to make a guess, I'd. I'd guess the Eagles bring back Swift and the Eagles are always looking to pass. They're, they're a pass first organization. They never really run the ball. Um, even though there was that weird obscure stat that they, like, they were like the first in rushing attempts last year. That was probably cause Hertz runs it. Yeah, probably. But, uh, so I'm, I'm going to say Tajay. Yeah. I'd have to agree with you. I, I love Swift. Don't get me wrong, but, I just he no one ever uses utilizes him right, man. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's such a sad situation. He's a hell of a player, but boy, his teams just just don't don't use him. Yeah, I mean, they don't use him enough as they should. So uh, especially if he goes back to Philly, I thought that was gonna be a lot better fit than what it was. He was still pretty good this year. He yeah. wasn't a scrub by any it means. It was great at first. Yeah, I know. Well, I wish they would have kept it up. Yeah, but I I was expecting better. And, I was uh, too. I and, was too. But Tajay had some nice stats up up behind the king. Now yep. the king's out the door, so it's Tajay's turn to take the throne, and I think he will. I, I'm scared of like a Tony Pollard situation happening. I mean, Tony yeah. Pollard still turned in a decent year, but like they gave him the reins, and I think he disappointed a lot of owners because I think a lot oh, of yeah, you know, yeah. Um, so I mean, obviously you got that in the back of your head, you know. Yeah, 
But yeah, because you don't know. I mean, you, you just don't know. If Mike if Vrabel could. was still the coach, I'd love for Tajay this year because yeah. we know what they like to do. They like to run the ball. Yep. Uh, you never know what this new coach is going to be like. Yeah. Yep. He's a good pass catcher, too. Yeah. He catches a lot of check downs. I mean, Levis likes to check yeah. down to him. So. Yep. Yep. Off topic, where do you guys rank CJ Stroud? quarterback rankings in dynasty football yep dynasty fantasy football not above Mahomes. not above out number three number three yeah I, probably four four yep jimbo who you got over him hurts mm -hmm. no two uh, <laughs> two no, i'm just kidding, <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just kidding. No. no he's probably three yeah, i guess I, I can't put him above Mahomes or out I, I don't know though it's close i, I think i'm gonna put him above allen yeah really I, I think i am i think i'm gonna put him number two i can't dispute that I, I trust Allen a little bit more. I mean, I know Stroud's going to be a hell of a player, though. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. So, after last night, where's Rasheed Rice? Is he in your top 12 dynasty wide receivers? No, not top 12. No, because I, I bet they bring somebody in. Yeah. I, I know. Like, he's definitely in, like, a top 20, no doubt. Yeah. 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 I think he's on the rise. I think we talked about that last week. Mm -hmm. He's he's one to go out and buy. But oh, I, I, I think the time to buy is done now i think the door is oh, yeah. closed it's yeah i think he's he's i mean obviously turning into the number one pass catcher for mahomes now yeah and that's always a good spot to be in fantasy wise is Mahomes yep. number one pass catcher yep absolutely yeah a couple off top off no, topic like topics it. yeah just throw them in there why not <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's my number four right after two <laughs> yeah right <laughs> next one jimbo will you have a threesome with trey mcbride to a tag below <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. He'll yes. yes. <laughs> be like Daniel Bryan. Yes. Howdy, dude. You have wooden balls. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. All right. We'll go to the next one here. We'll start with you, Ty. So, with the overall disappointing season for JSN in 2023, what are your thoughts uh, going forward? Are you more inclined to buy low or sell high? Um, and if you are buying, what's the highest you'd pay? And if you're selling, what's the lowest you'd take? I'd buy in. I uh, he really didn't have much of a shot this year, and, and the chances he got it looked really good. Mm -hmm. He got that game winner from Drew Locke. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful. He, throw. He, he made some really yeah. He made some really nice grabs. Bigger threesomes. The Drew Locke. <laughs> JSN. You in? No, it's Drew Locke. Javante Williams from uh, us. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. He wants to be the cream sickle with that, <laughs> that popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but uh now i uh i i i I'm, I'm definitely buy js and he hasn't really had the opportunity the guy is a skilled player now i think like he's really good don't get me wrong but i'm sure you guys can kind of agree with me on this like the wide receiver core going in the last year there wasn't like a humongous name so like they kind of you know, JSN was a big name, but like not huge, kind of like Marvin Harrison Jr. So they kind of like pushed JSN into that right. echelon. So obviously people are going to be disappointed, but uh, I'd buy in. I'd trade a first for him. Late round first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see what the trade browser says here. Uh, super flex. Because I mean, it depends on the price. I, late I, first. I would probably do a late first. I'd probably, yeah, I'd be close. But I, I think that's what's going to have to get yeah. it done. Yeah, I'd probably have to. Holy hell. J JSN for Isaiah Pacheco. That guy mu that guy must have been on a <laughs> on a on a run or something. Yeah. Jalen Warren for JSN. What? Yeah. No. These mean. people had to have picked him in the top I know, that's what's top weird. 6 last year. Yeah, let me make, let me make sure. Sell him for Jalen Warren. Wow. Boy. I have to, yeah, I might have send to out some trades. JSN, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, no doubt. He looked, I mean, he yeah, I, I selected Dynasty. I wanted to make sure I didn't hit redraft. But right. yeah, it's Dynasty Superflex. Wow. Um, yeah, there's not really any. Uh, there's JSN Lamar in the first for Sam Howe and Herbert. Ooh. Um, a little bit of repay. Yeah. So there's JSN for two first, a second, PJ Walker. Yeah, that's too much. That is too much. Uh, JSN and a first for Kamara and Love, and a super flex. Mm. Oh, so I just like, kind of like that big one, there. the Pickens and the Saint. Brown yeah, we're not good. <laughs> yeah, I hate them ones. Me too. It's hard to pick it apart, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm in for a late first. I think. I think he'll get his. Uh, 
like Ty said, though, that this wasn't a big wide receiver class. Yeah. Like this was a so someone of, had to get hyped up. Yeah, and it just happened to be him. So I think this wide receiver class is going to be a lot better. I think. Oh, in, yeah. I think in this wide receiver class, he definitely wouldn't be number one. No, yeah. no, uh, no I mean, no. obviously not over Marvin Hay, but he might not even be two or three. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, that Doozy and uh, or whatever how are we pronounce neighbors, and neighbors. neighbors. Yeah, yeah, I think them two are more better prospects than smith and jigba so yeah me too yeah so yes i mean i I would probably pay a late first just because i don't think you're going to get any of those receivers but i think uh i think if you had an opportunity to get one of them receivers i'd probably take one of them first i think i would too i haven't really i haven't really dove into the film and but so would you definitely sell them for a late first too i wouldn't I would not probably want to mid to try to get one of them guys and try to yeah. get your value back. I mean, you spent probably yeah. a top six pick to get them. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You'd trade them for like a one six. So uh, I would, I think I may, because you may get Bowers back there. Yeah. Or, I'd yeah. probably do that. Yeah. It, it, I, I don't think I'd feel great about it, but yeah, I definitely, yeah. I'd probably do it. Right. Yeah. I try, I try to get a little more right because yeah. like like ty said it's kind of where you drafted them so like if i drafted them there and i'd I'd want to get a little more yeah I yeah agree. so we'll we'll go to our last uh topic here for the our regular topic for the show and then we'll go into our trade of the week uh some muscles which wide receiver out of the or let's rank these rank these uh four wide receivers on uh, who you would rather go out and get as a contender to help bolster your receiver room in 2024. Okay. T. Higgins, Nico Collins, Devonta Smith, Rasheed Rice. Are we taking value out? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just, yeah, just rank these four as, uh, you know, who, who you'd rather All right, have. can I see the list? Yeah, I don't have Rasheed Rice on it because I just added him okay. myself. But there's um. I would go Nico, Rice, I think Higgins, and Smith. Nico, Rice, Higgins, Smith. Mm. Um, Let's go. I, I think I think Nico is a top 12. Yeah, uh, me too. Di- Dynasty wide receiver. I, I don't have my <laughs> rankings. I haven't really done rankings in a while, but if I was going to do rankings, I know he'd be a top 12. That's rough. Um, Rasheed Rice, like we said, is top twenty. T might be in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where my my struggle is between T and yeah, Rice. Yeah, that would be tough because I mean T could go somewhere nice too. But but I still think you got to get Rice. Yeah, I, I think do. so. I'm, I, with, I, I'm with you. That was I'm gonna, my order. I'm going to stick with my order. Nico yeah. Rice Higgins Smith. Yep. Yeah. So you have Nico Rice Higgins Smith. I'm going to go Nico number one. Yep. Hmm, that is tough. I just like what Rasheed Rice has been doing, but yeah, exactly. I'll switch it up. I'll go. I'll go. Nico one, T Higgins two, Rasheed Rice three. Devon not Smith mad four. at it. No, I'm not mad at it because I think Higgins and Rice are the are the ones that are close for me. Yeah, I just think yeah, you have to have Smith four in that list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that like maybe if the Chiefs go out and get a big time receiver, it's gonna hurt Rasheed? I mean, it could help them too. But, you know. Yeah, yeah, especially if Kelsey ends up going. Yeah, because I mean, really, I mean, yeah, Kelsey, he, Kelsey, the year he's had, Rice is probably still the number one. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't think it hurts him too bad. No, me either. All right, that's that's a that's pretty uh pretty now, good list of players. Now, right? yeah. now if Kelsey stays and they go out and get a guy, yeah. Yeah, it'd be rough. Now we're splitting hairs because now I think it'll be like a 49er situation where I think, uh, you know, you'll have your Kelsey weeks. And let's get, let's say they go get Mike Evans. You'll have a Mike Evans week. Right. And then you'll have a She Rice week. I don't think you'll see all, you know, three of them, obviously. Right. You know, being consistent. Yeah, because with Pacheco, and, there's just too many miles to feed to make yeah. everybody fantasy relevant. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah, well, that's going to wrap up the regular portion of the show here. We're going to end the show since we started this week with our pickums. like. Uh, we'll end the show with our favorite segment, the Underdog Trade of the Week, brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Uh, if you guys don't have Underdog Fantasy, definitely uh, download the app. And if you're a first-time depositor, use promo code DNA, and they'll match your deposit up to 100 bucks. 
So you deposit a hundred, you have two, 200 deposit 10, you'll have 20. So on and so forth. Uh, just a great app for best ball, uh, snake draft, stuff like that. Uh, just go over and check them out. For yeah, sure. They're, they're Friday night. I was off. I was doing, I was up till like three, four in the morning, just doing underdog drafts. Are you serious? Yeah. I, I was doing the, uh, the entire playoffs. Like they had to, yeah, I did a couple of those. Yep. Yeah. I was, the I was entire doing, playoff. I was doing draft after draft. One would end and I'd be like, I'd be like, Oh, you know, next time I think I'm going to do it this way. And then I'd do another yep. <laughs> one and try to do it that way. You know, like, holy I, shit. Like, yeah, I, go, end, I, I have I, like four or five <laughs> yeah, for the whole, fit, whole yeah. playoffs. Yep. Yeah, it's I, I love it. I do too. Underdog trade of the week. Uh, team one, Tajay Spears. Team or T. Uh, yeah, sorry. Team one, Tajay Spears, twenty twenty four second. Team two, JSN, twenty twenty four third. Um. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think that one's close enough to where it's like real team dependent. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go team two. I'm going to go, go JSN. JSN in a third. I don't know if the I don't know if the knees of uh, Tajay is going to hold up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, and I do like building my team. Everybody knows I do like building my team around stud receivers. Yeah. I just I don't know. I I think if you need a running back, I think that's a I think that's a trade that I would make to get um, Tajay Spears. But I I also think if you need a receiver or just one to build around. I, like I could see both sides. Um, I just think it's close enough to where it'd be team dependent for me. But if I were starting a just, team, just basing off value, what basing would you off value, I'd go JSN. Yeah, yep. really. That's, yep. what, that's what I base it off. See, of. I mean, I, I can't, I can't argue with it. But I, I think, I know, I always find myself more running back needy than I am receiver needy. Well, yeah, but I mean, that's where it bites you in dynasty because they just don't hold up, right? Right. So, I mean, JSN, he should be a valuable asset for 10 should years. Be. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, you got to go that way, too. I yeah. agree. Now, I mean, we can't predict that. Right. Obviously, but, you know. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's a close one. Yeah, that, it, that that is a really close one. It is, too. Yeah. I think you're right, though. It's kind of depending on where you, what your needs are as a team. but Yeah, I think that one's real close to where I, I could see myself making that trade for Tajay Spear if I needed to or, you know. Yep. I'm kind of interested to see where A-Train would go with that one. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. loves Tajay. That's his boy. I that know is. he does. Yeah, he'd probably, t- he'd probably take Tajay's side. I don't know where he'd go. <laughs> yeah. Let's ask him. Yeah. Let's ask him. Yeah, he, he likes JSN, too. He I does. Guess. He does. You're right. So, what else we got, Jim? That's it. That's it. That's it. Any uh, what do we think? What do what do we think happens with Travis Kelsey? He's gonna go. He's yeah. Done. He's done. Yeah, I don't know. I think he plays another year. Would you send out offers to try to get him a dynasty? What? what oh yeah. What would we pay? Oh man, I wouldn't pay a lot. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. It might I'd, be worth a gamble. Yeah. I mean, I'd pay some. I'm trying to think of what I'd pay, but I'd definitely try to get them. If so, I could. so if you had Kelsey and you got an offer for a third, would you take it? Like today? For a third? Oh, I wouldn't trade him no. for a fucking third. No. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. Would you trade him for a second? I honestly don't think I could. I don't think I could. Do you either. think you're just going down with the ship? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'd pay a second for him, bro. I would too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would try it. I mean, it's worth the gamble because, I mean, if he does come back next year. Yeah. He might even be one of them guys where down the line, him and Taylor Swift breaks up. He's <laughs> bored. And he'll be like, hey, uh, like Gronk I'll come did. back. Yeah. yeah. Come back. yeah. yeah. Very well could. Right. Very well could. Taylor Swift so sing a breakup song. Yeah, I'd like to it. have him on my bench. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah, if he does. Just re- in case. If he does retire, I think I'd keep him. Oh, yeah, for Sure. Yeah. He just seems like one of those dudes where, like, Mahomes is like, hey, Travis, I need help. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back. Yep. Yeah. What do, we think, sure. what do we think happens in Denver? Eesh. You think they're rolling with Jared Stenham? Totally fucking better not be. Yeah, I doubt that. I don't know. They're That's not playing question. on rolling with Stenham, are they? I don't know. They're, I don't think they're really in a position to draft a quarterback. No. no they, they'd they, have to try to trade up. They might have to. Yeah, they might I have to. I did see... Um, or they were saying, I mean, this is like outside reports that like they were saying that they were trying to uh, package a deal with their first and like uh, Patrick Sertan to move up and try to get a quarterback. I don't know how true that was. Oof. 
But, That's what I'd try to do if I was them. Oh, man. I just love Patrick Sertan. I know. I do, too. Like, what else they got there to trade? I, yeah. I, I, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. So. They got nothing. Yeah. And Cortland Sutton posted, like, a goodbye Denver, which is weird because he's under contract. I know. So, yeah, I wondered that myself. I went out and, and sent out. I saw that, and I went out and sent out a bunch of offers for Marvin Mims just because because I was like, Jerry Judy – is Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton? If he's posting that and he's going somewhere, who else do they got? Right. Boy. That's it. Yeah, Denver's going to be the worst oh, team in the league. Yeah, they're sure. going to be a dumpster fire. And they're in that division. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah they might as well just burn it down. That's, right. what, that's what I don't even, I wouldn't even probably trade up for a quarterback. I'd probably just try to roll with Stedham and try and try to get a high draft pick next year. Right. Yeah. Cause I, I think, uh, uh, Russell Wilson, his money comes That's off the thing. The yeah, Sean Payton's good enough coach that he'll win them games. Yeah. You know? Well, I think he's smart enough, I think. I I, I don't know. He'd try to not win them. Yeah. That's, uh, you'd think. Yeah. Yeah, you'd think. But, you'd think uh, he'd see the writing on the wall. You you would think. But yeah, I think Russell Wilson's money comes <laughs> off the books next year, so. Yeah. So yeah. they, they'd be in a little uh, bit better of a cap yeah, situation. I think sure. I would just take the bad season and roll yep. on. Yeah. Yep, me too. I was just thinking about that yesterday. I was like, what the hell does Denver do? I'd yeah. keep Sertan, though. I wouldn't be moving him. I wouldn't either. No. I think you build a defense around him. Yeah. Yeah, so. I agree. He is great. And then Josie Joel is another good linebacker. Yep. Yeah, they have they have some, some good players. Yeah, it's just a shame. It is. 